guys, I am Chris Kaler and I'm Anne de Foss and Cosplay and today we're back in the guys with my name, episode 3. I know yes. that I said your name in the last episode, so I'm sorry Fine. guys, but little my mistake. Name. It's not, it doesn't matter. Anyway, last episode we joined the police force, well, we were attacked by the guy we thought we could trust in the organization. Yeah. Turns out we couldn't. So uh, he basically uh, was a sore loser because we beat him uh, during the whole all-out all out fight, mm -hmm. and uh, he attacked us. And they used that opportunity, uh, Choi, that's his name. He used that opportunity to say we died, give us a new identity, and then uh, send us on our way with the gun that killed our father, which is a police gun. So not sure if I trust that. Still, with my theory is that you know he might be behind the whole thing. But uh, she believes it, and we know also that the guy that showed up at her apartment after the murder was the narcotics chief. So the guy in charge of the, de of the department. And he, we know he's also doing some, some you know, mysterious stuff uh, linked to Choi somehow. Yeah. So there's something yeah. there. There's some mysteries yeah. there. Yeah. I'm just not sure it's what we think it is. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe in any case. Maybe not. We managed to, we joined the police, years passed, we're a full out adult now, and uh, we joined the, well, we ended up joining the narcotics team too, and uh, we are partnered with a guy that doesn't like us, doesn't want us here. So we like believe... that, uh, ended up with him at the end of it. Yes, I see a potential ship. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he doesn't believe that we, we're gonna stick around for long, so we just proved them that we are badass, as we just... <laughs> Kicked our ass into, kicked everyone's ass into the the club where a certain mango was. Yeah, yeah, he's a uh, he's the guy that that they're Selling looking drugs. for linked to a drug deal or something. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how they react to what she just did, and we'll see how how she goes about her mission. All right, pretty much. So let's jump in this episode and see what's in store for us. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, if you want to know when these episodes come out and check out our Patreon for the full reactions. Okay, so let's go. <laughs> Keep saying my partner, it will sink in. <laughs> A little bit of respect. <laughs> Everyone has his own style. Everyone is to start at some point. Yeah, yeah obviously. <laughs> That's how he became good at his job. Sure. <laughs> 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 We're not done. We're not dumb either. Uh huh. Oh. Found it. I'm starting to like you. <laughs> Although, like, he's probably gonna rebel against you know the fact that he thought that was cool. He's like, oh, I mean, you, you made a mess in there. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna show it at first. I mean, that's a perk. Now you know he's got you there. He's rebelling, but... She's faced bigger... Yeah, but meaner he, guys. He needs to take care of his team. Yeah. So her security is his problem. But then her way of doing things is that of a gangster, not that of a police officer. Yeah. If he crosses him, they'll probably get killed. It's probably it joy. Uh, I mean, considering what we saw last episode, yeah, you cross I'm him. I'm guessing that's mm. him, yeah. Oh boy. 
치는 왜 마약을 만들었을까? 한도라의 상자. Or it's not. It's just another oh. another badass. Because <laughs> I don't think Joey would wear wings on his jacket. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that's not his style. He's bigger than that. Okay. Is it the one that we the the guy who tried to kill us in the second episode thing? He didn't kill him. Ah, yeah, yeah, that's him. That's him. <laughs> oh, it's been a long time. He's uh, he's gone certain ways <laughs> since then. It's been like four or five years, so we're gonna take a pleasure to take you down. So that's why that's why they left him a mark that we can recognize. <laughs> he rebelled. He went big in his own way. Okay. Well, yeah, he dropped him. Completely left him, so he rebelled and he did his own organization. Now we have access to information. See, don't fucking tell me they had nothing to keep going. They had videos, they had photos. They had a fucking bullet. If it is an inside job, no one had it in. They, when they covered it. it, yeah. I know I had my I have my suspicions, but this is very telling. <laughs> well, okay, we, I didn't pick people. So we, all we, we got, need, all we need, is for someone to plant it. Yeah. But but we got two main theories: an inside job from the police, or uh, coming from Choi. We don't know which like, one. Even is the right. police, the police did their investigation. They found out that it was linked to the police, <laughs> and they covered it up. Yeah. Please tell me at least you didn't write like Choi number. <laughs> hey! <laughs> That's not the same cell phone though. She got. She has two. Good. The other one's in our our car, so she's technically safe. Is it? <gasps> That's what they were talking about. Oh no! They kept it a secret, but now and she. I mean, she can't. It's departed all over again. <laughs> she can't say a thing. She needs to play her cover. She can't blow her cover. But then she can betray him either. He knows that she she got a job to do and she needs to play her job. Yeah, but he also said that if they had to, they would kill her. You don't have a choice, right? You know, her cell phone is in there. She has to reach him somehow, be like, fuck, run! <laughs> This is like between a rock and a hard place. The worst thing to happen to a double agent. And like if she meets him, she has to do something. She has a camera. You cannot just uh, stay on the side. We need to be active yeah. in this plan. It's not like we can just cover it and be like... Do <laughs> <laughs> you think I need my know about the network? <laughs> She'll have to do something, otherwise, uh, they're gonna get the huh? show is gonna be short. <laughs> Going in basically alone. 
Teman tocok Jojo. Oh, berarti kan udah dibuang misinya. I believe them. Yes. She just she made her choice. The police left her. That guy took her in. She went really close to killing her partner. Um, I mean, I get why she's protecting Choi, but I would not be okay with killing him. I thought for sure she had a camera on, and maybe she didn't. She could be saying, you know, oh, I got ambushed or someone attacked me, so I fired, I missed him, he went away, stuff like that. Maybe, yeah. If they really suspect her to be the one that fired and got the lights to shut down. How just as surprised as you were. Oh. Thank you for breaking his cam recorder. Well, thank you. We can't really say thank you for that. We're we're rooting for the bad guy, but I'm at the same for, time, I'm rooting for both of them. One is just the young detective. I'm rooting for him. But what is the other uh, other team? I'm rooting for them. There's a serial number on those bullets, honey. They'll know. And did you take the the other yeah, gun yeah. before going to that? Oh, maybe. Mission? That would be intel. Oh, that would be spit. That would be smart. And she dropped that gun too. Okay, yeah. So that she, she took the other gun. But then and, and that gives her an opportunity to research and find out. Who basically used it last? Mm. Yep, yeah, it's true that they had to find that information and oh, you, is he gonna say it's her? She didn't know. Maybe because they also expect to have a rat in their, in their midst. It's departed! He never liked you, so like any chance maybe he gets to put doubt in the whole situation he's gonna take. So that would mean he has a rat inside. Do you think that's him? The guy, uh, the Aspen in a suit? He could be maybe. the rat? Well, maybe. Hmm. <laughs> oh, okay, wait, wait, what? Who was that Wookiee then? Were we there when that no, happened? That was before. No. But then we could, they could be trying to hype the fact that he killed her father for revenge. Maybe. He's been failing over and over again. Is that the, the asshole in question <laughs> calling her? I don't think she would know though if they had a rat inside. Like they they didn't bother to tell her about the ambush. Only the higher ups would know about a rat. Or more. She made that she made that shot. So she let it happen knowing it. Hmm. Everything will uncover itself eventually and we'll be like, what? <laughs> them as they do it like bitch <laughs> <laughs> I see you 
But maybe the chief's gonna think that they might have someone on the inside working for them. I mean, this is suspicious. He never found those cameras and now he knows. Mm -hmm. After someone willingly shot through the, those wires when they weren't supposed to know they were there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's thinking that they might have a mole in the team. And like, she's the new addition though. That's not looking good. The timing is wrong. Mm -hmm. Because she just got in. Yeah, he's gonna look for our file. Hmm. Kinda like he recognized that gun and he, he knows it wasn't supposed to be there. They should have gotten rid of him. He is really pissed about that gun. <laughs> Too bad that uh, the one he's after, or one of one of them that he's after, is not there. Oh boy! <laughs> Ouch. Ah, he's bloodthirsty. Yep. At this point, just leave, buddy. Oh my god. No! <laughs> Not like this! I mean, he can't use that against her or anything. Like, we know who did it. Ah, oh, boy. He is, he's, he's grown into such a creepy character. I'm back! <laughs> Only three died? Why are you worried? All right, the mystery is thickening. Uh, yeah, like you said, I'm really glad that they brought him back and making yeah. him this antagonist. That crazy, yeah. that bloodthirsty, mm -hmm. like he really held that grudge. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, he did a mistake, he never thought it was a mistake. He basically never regretted what he did. So he sees himself as the victim, the guy who was completely dropped when he should not have. So that turned into anger. It's unjustified considering he was only punished for something he did and he could have been killed. Like they were generous with him. They should have. They should have probably got rid of him because now yes, he's gonna bring in a lot of issues, but I am glad he's back because like I said, we get our chance to, you know, have our revenge. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's gonna put things, you know, it's gonna make things complicated maybe for both sides, considering he's gonna bring in trouble. We do know like a little bit about what's going on, even though like what the mission they were doing was kind of a decoy for Choi, so we would not know that we were looking for him. Yeah. We are still on the the path to figuring out what his drug, you know, what, who's the giving away his drug and, and what's his deal about. So yeah, this is gonna be a bigger than I thought at the beginning. It's another investigation, you know. It's just we we're still doing doing it technically. It's mm -hmm. still something that you know we have clues for and we have a lead. So we might just keep following it and eventually we'll face him again. All right. So okay, about the mystery. <laughs> when she found the file, everything about that file 
kind of pointed towards a police officer doing it. So I thought at first that maybe he had planted the gun, you know, but it looked, and they say they never found the gun, but they found the bullet and the bullet was also issued from a police gun. So they knew that. Maybe, yes, it is true if they found that the lead led to, you know, a uh, police officer, they decided to drop it in order to keep that secret, which would not surprise me that much. Uh, in history, there has been many, many, many moments where the police was corrupted and, and did some shitty stuff. That could uh, they happen, knew, yeah. Or maybe, you know, they know that it's not their guy who did it, but every clue they have leads to the the, not the chief, but, well, yeah, the chief doing it, oh. so they just decided to drop it so no one would Did arrest him. Did they just say that uh, a rookie died in 2004? Yeah. Do you think that maybe that was his gun? I don't know. Because he he, he was a police officer uh, undercover with uh, Charles' gang. Probably. Well, maybe. That could be him. That he died during, an opera during the operation? That he died? But th that could be his gun. No. The way they talked about this, he lost someone from the narcotics team. Yeah. Back in 2004, he, he, maybe he was just an agent and stuff. So he would have lost a friend. Mm -hmm. And that's why he's obsessed with stopping well, I know, but maybe, Choi. Sorry. Maybe the gun that uh, was used to kill... Would be his? Would, would be his, yeah. Maybe. Okay, okay. So in that case, that would mean, that could explain why he's so freaked out about finding that gun. And maybe he was suspicious that, oh shit, like, do I really think that this could be it? And then he brings it to forensic in order to figure out. But this is mean that, who's to say that that rookie really died? Maybe they, maybe they uh, never found the body. But then... Because in, in 2004, did they, I wouldn't they burn but no, the well, body like, to Crips? I don't know. They didn't. They never said anything okay, okay, about okay. how the body but died. But maybe... How the body he, died. Maybe he's not dead. We don't know okay, that. But, okay, if the, that gun belongs to the guy who died in 2004. Yeah. Let me go somewhere else. Again, with my theory that Choi is the responsible. responsible. If we know that guy died, because... He had to know, like, he had to have the body. It, it cannot just be a mystery because he blames Choi. He blames that organization for what happened. That's why he's so focused on stopping it. But if they, like, if he was a mole, if he was in there as a double agent, if he, w or whatever, if he was on a, on, on a case with them and he got killed during it and they kept his gun and now they're using it to, because how did they get a, a police gun? If they got the gun... From that guy, and then they are using it to point her in that direction. There is that, but it's we, a possibility. We, we also know that they're good to make believe that someone could die too. Th she's dead. She they change her name. Yeah, they but, could have done the same thing with the guy. Yeah, too. but that was I. Why would that guy kill her, kill her father? I don't know. I don't know, but that could be a possibility. I think that. The, if that's his gun, because he, he kind of, the way he reacted to the thing, like, no way it's, no way, no way it's that gun, no way that gun fired anything, like, he freaked out, and then he, he went and looked at each of, of you mm -hmm. know, his, his, mem his team members, you know, guns, it, it could definitely mean that he recognized the gun yeah, somehow. So, uh, I'm believing that's, that's the... And then, like, the, the rookie, uh, rookie's gun. Not just that, too, but, you know, the way he, he had files and stuff locked up about that gun, too. I feel like maybe it, it, it could definitely be uh, that guy's gun. Mm -hmm. But then they had it. Yeah. It does say that the, you know, the bullet that killed her father was a bullet from a police's, a police gun. So that doesn't necessarily mean anything if they were in possession of the gun that belonged to this guy. True. So again, they could have been they could have used that gun to basically throw away, throw off the the police. Mm. And at, at the same time throw her off the lead too. Well they didn't they had no idea she was <laughs> gonna look after this, you know. Um then again, I mean, it could explain. I think the way they're tr they're trying too hard, you know, not too hard, but they're trying so hard to make us think that it's this guy, you know, the the chief that's uh, behind the whole thing. That's why I don't think it's him at all. I think he showed up at the crime scene, maybe because it was late but I think, somehow. I, think and I mean, it hasn't right. been that long. He, right? he wants to take down Choi so much 
that he would have need the father alive to yeah, do that. Yeah, definitely. So and I think why maybe him? I think maybe when he died, he thought it was suspicious. He freaked out because he was on on his revenge path and stuff, and he just decided to sh show up and talk to her, ask her some things. Because, you know, out outside of his police duty, he was kind of acting alone, maybe. Because I don't think it's the first time that his captain has been. I'm sorry if I'm messing up, you know, who's That he's who. acting rashly? Yeah, it, I don't think it's the first time he's been told that he's acting rashly and that, you know, it's not looking good for him in the department. So this could mean that he used to do stuff like that before, that he's too quick, too reckless when it comes to his investigation. So it's looking more and more that uh, the crime team did it. But I'm giving him an MAB. But the, then we have the, that mystery of who died back then and yeah, how is but it But I'm still going to be that maybe that rookie is not dead because... This is K-drama. Not everything can happen in a K-drama. Come on. But we already have one person who's pretending know, to be dead. I know, I know. But I think that maybe that guy might still be alive. We don't know that. But we know that they're good for making uh, making evidence that someone is dead. Like, everybody thinks that... Uh, yeah, that, that she's technically dead, right? Who would be that person, though? And why would it be relevant? And how? Know. Why would he be so convinced that he's dead? Like you, you gotta know, know, you gotta have a body. The reason why you can they, have you can have a body and torch it to a they uh, manage uh, to they man but then like how do you prove it's him? Dental records and stuff. You can destroy them. They would make sure to look for it if they don't have proof it's really him. They would try to make sure. And like they're who good. would it be? They are good at who it. Who would it be in the organization? And why would I mean why? He was a police officer. Why would he be a double know. agent? I don't know. What I might know. And heck, if he's still alive, why give his gun to her and say like, oh, I mean, this is the gun that kills her father. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> but that is that, that is a crazy idea. We're just gonna keep yeah, it, I'm not gonna keep, keep, keep it in mind. <laughs> but I'm. I'd rather have my own crazy theories than you have yours. <laughs> but, but another one that I have, though, is that maybe the assistant uh, of Choi is the mole from uh, the police up team. Because we know that somebody's working from the inside. I don't think so. You don't think so? I don't think so, because I would assume that if they do have a mole, the guy that's in charge of the investigation <laughs> would know about it somehow. And, uh, you know, he's sitting in the ambulance and stuff, and he's not saying anything, and he's just... I don't know, he's, he's, he doesn't seem to know that much, and he's not, uh, I don't it, know. Well, if it's him, he needs to keep his cover. Yeah, it's true. And she, I mean, there were, there were people around. It's possible. He is really trying to, you know, uh, basically breed a, a, an environment of, of distrust and, and, and doubts in, in between mm -hmm. you and uh, Choi, so... And I mean, you don't want them to help one another. Like, you don't want her to give him intel about what's going on. So you'd rather have her die and be, you know, taken care of when it comes to... Because you want to have someone close enough of your main target to know what's going on and to be trusted. But then at the so same that, time... the best No, but then at the him. same time, they both know about her. Yeah. How I mean, why would he not say something to the police if he knows okay. about her being there? So why I, I I get that you know you can just arrest her or anything like you can be like, oh fuck, well, I'm arrest her, I'm gonna arrest her right away, and then you know that there's only two guys who know yeah. about her. Yeah, that 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 bit is that. But then he <laughs> know right away. But then yeah. I mean, in my opinion, if he knew and he told them, you could just play it off as well. We recognize the daughter of of. Mm. Um, don't, I don't remember what his name is, but her father, we recognize the daughter. We used to have pictures of her or we found a picture of her in the stuff or, I mean, stay, say you don't want her in narcotics. Yeah. You know, you don't want her close to, to this department or anything. Okay. I then think it's, I mean, else, it's then. too crazy, I think, for it to be him, but then we don't know. <laughs> we don't know. We have, to, we have to wait and see what's going on. I don't know who the mole could be. There are so many people in that organization and we haven't seen many people. So, I mean, if there is even a mole, maybe it's just a coincidence that they had that much information. They have been looking after, you know, everything for a while. Could be the woman, could be Choi himself. <laughs> no, 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 I don't think so. But in any case, we, we didn't get the respect of our teammates. But we got a better, you know, understanding of each other, at least this episode. Well, no, yeah. Yeah, well, we, we didn't get the respect. We got a bit of respect. I think you respected what we did, but as... <laughs> 
he, he had to keep his uh his facade of well, I don't cool. like you. Yeah, yeah. He, he couldn't just do a 180 and be like, oh, well, look at that. You're pretty cool. You're part of the team. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, she's she figured out pretty quickly that being a double agent is not it's not easy, and she will be stuck in between a rock and a hard place. And because of her status, she's closer to the action, and she can help, but she's not that close to to the chief and stuff. So she doesn't know everything. Yeah, so, so. she needs to. She can't really help them out if needed. But I mean, in those operations, it's always better to keep it. In, in a really close circle even if you have your agents and even if you trust your agents if True. you start saying what you're doing and what you're planning then the more you risk having the whole thing crumble yep so someone says something to to anyone when they're drunk and it could just yeah, so, blow, everything, yeah. blow everything's up yeah yeah so uh, it's not a nice position and departed really told us that <laughs> uh for anyone who's a mole anywhere and uh, in her case, it's it could be bad because this episode, it took one incident for Choi to start maybe doubting her. Like, he wasn't answering her calls. And I think the, the reason he, that he did that was because for a sec, he allowed himself to wonder if she was playing him. And that's the thing. When you're a double agent, there's always a reason to doubt you from both sides. Yeah, because if you can do it for us... Who said they're not doing it for the other team? Yeah. And he's a crime boss. Like, he has to be paranoid a little bit. <laughs> he can't just... Well, if he's not, he's not gonna survive long. And it's the idea that, you know, you've been with these people for so long, and now you've learned that you got to have a mole in your group. Who are you gonna, you know, focus on? The people you've been working with for a while, or that new girl? Oh, 11, 20 years, or the new girl. Yeah, or the new girl. In his case, I think he, he still trusts her and he likes her because she's the daughter of his best friend and he basically groomed her, but uh, he's got he's got someone whispering in his ear and stuff, so we'll see. Maybe next episode we find out that the mole was the assistant all along <laughs> and that but, clears this up. Yeah. But yeah, for her. And same thing on the other side too. Yeah, If stuff starts to happen, if they start wondering why their operations that they've been preparing for so long is, is messed up, then who are you going to blame? The ones that have been helping you with that operation or the girl that just showed up right when the things when things were about to start happening and then things mess up. Everything was going well and then although they have been doing this for 11 years, so... <laughs> at that, yeah, that's what they said, right? Yep. 11 years. Uh -huh. anyway. So anyway, that's a good episode. I'm uh, really excited for the, the truth to come out because I want to know... Uh, the good thing about a short show is that it's going to happen soon. We're not going to have to wait for long. And I'm really, really excited to see if we had anything in our theories that's right. So uh, I'm going to look forward to the, the ending of this show. But like I said, I have a lot of crazy ideas. And I don't know which one's going to be through at the end of it. But yeah, yeah. of course, that's <laughs> we don't know anything, but we're, we like to theorize. And if we're wrong... We're wrong, and it's still going to surprise us. And if we're right, well, we're going to be happy. <laughs> but uh, in any case, really still love the action. Uh, really love the graphics. That that massacre at the end was bloody, but I, looked, I liked it. It was really, really uh, violent. And they went places, and uh, I love when a show has the guts to do that. Mm -hmm. So very excited for the next episode. Me too. So thank you guys so much for watching this with us. If you want to see the next episode right away, it is on Patreon already. You can check it out. The link is in the description below. Yes, and the next one will be on YouTube next week, guys. So stay tuned and see you then. Bye. Bye.